Welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. I'm Shane Sater. I write the What's Going On Out There blog and podcast. And I'm here today in this rather open, barren landscape to talk to you about a really cool rodent, the porcupine. Four years ago, right here, I found a porcupine overwintering. Right here where I'm standing, there's this culvert. And what I found four years ago is that the porcupine was denning in here. What was it doing in this open landscape? We often think of porcupines being associated with forested habitats. What I noticed was that at that point, it was spending a lot of time up in the Russian olives. I did see this porcupine eating Russian olive bark, but it was also eating the fruits of the Russian olives. Now this is interesting because here's an invasive tree that's widely distributed in Montana, and here's this native rodent that was taking advantage of it. So I haven't actually seen a porcupine out here for a couple of years now. Mostly I think that's because a fire swept across this site a few years ago, and it's really set back the, the shrub cover. But this also is an eerie parallel to the bigger picture with porcupines in Montana, that particularly west of the Continental Divide here, it's, very, it's become very rare to see porcupines at all. Now this is a huge contrast from back in the 1960s when the Forest Service was actually managing porcupines as a forest pest because of their bark feeding habits. So I talked with Fish, Wildlife and Parks biologist Jessie Coltrane about porcupines in western Montana to get an update. And what she told me is that they're still really rare. This seems to mirror a pattern across a good chunk of the west. So what's going on? Unlike other rodents, porcupines are actually very slow to reproduce. At most, they have one baby per year. And because winters are so tough and they're eating basically this cardboard-like tree bark, it often takes them two years in our climate to build up enough fat reserves to have another baby. They're also long-lived animals, so between this low reproduction and the long lifespan, if someone shoots or poisons a porcupine, it can be a major loss for the population. And so it seems like after all of those years of considering porcupines as a pest, it's just really hard for them to recover. So if you see a porcupine, especially in Western Montana, consider yourself lucky. Please don't shoot it. Thanks for coming to Wildlife Wednesday.